Hello my friends. This is how I put the wood strips on my kayak. The first strip or the starter strip is dry clamped onto the shear line of the kayak's hull. After clamping the starter strip, sight the strip, adjust the clamp so that you have a smooth line. When satisfied with the position of this first strip, hot glue the strip to each point of contact on the form. I'm using an internal stem on both the bow and the stern. The first strip, the starter strip, and every other strip that comes in contact with this is glued permanently to it. The internal stem is hot glued to the form so it can be removed when the hull is removed from the form. Each strip that is selected is carefully inspected for flaws, for nicks, for knots, anything that may cause problems later during the finish of the kayak. I chose to place the cove in the upward position just to be able to hold the glue as I apply it so it won't be running down the sides. Here I'm applying the glue to the cove and putting glue on the internal stem. You can see here on the nose of the kayak a red bungee. That's a tarp bungee. Makes excellent glue clamping for these strips. After each strip is glued and clamped, you have to wait until the glue dries before you can move on to the next strip. Here you can see my clamping method. I'm using spring clamps and those bungees with the balls or tar clamps, wooden blocks with spring clamps, and painter's tape. Here I'm transferring center lines from the reference mark on the frame to the top of the hull. When all the reference lines are marked on the hull, a strip is dry clamped onto the hull to be used as a fairing strip.
You can see I'm using a lot of clamps to hold this strip very secure. Sight down this strip and adjust the clamps where needed. except nothing less than a perfectly straight line at this point. Pencil this line to the hull. Choose a saw that will give you the smoothest cut. Here I'm going to use a Japanese saw that has very fine teeth. Be as precise as you can when you're making your cut. This will save time with straightening the line with the hand plane. The center line has been finished cutting and the excess being removed. Use a straight edge to check for high spots and then hand plane those to a perfect line. Each succeeding strip now has to be precision fit. Taking a strip of wood that's about a foot longer than what's needed, I dry fit it into the concave groove and place a parallel stick and mark the tapered line. This would give me the most accurate uh, line to be following when I make the cut. Using my pen knife, I'll remove excess material close to the line but not touching it and finish it up with a hand plane. The rough cut's a very close fit, but it still needs to be trued up with the hand plane. The end of the strip being very thin is too flexible to stand up to the knife edge, so it needs supported. A scrap piece of stripping with the concave groove holds it perfectly.
once you're satisfied with the fit, mark reference point near this end. This will be used when you're gluing up. When fitting the second end, dry clamp the strip on the curved arch uh, as tightly as you can so that you can mark a second set of reference lines on this second end. The second set of reference line is used when you're cutting and fitting the taper on that end. Here I'm making my second reference mark. From this reference I can now start working the end of the stick. I'm going to take the reference mark and move the stick back so that I have a surplus on the length of it. I now trace the proper angle on this end. This, When I cut this, it should be the right angle, but oversized. That is, extra length. Make a note, don't saw over top of your kayak. You may nick it, like I did. Using a knife, rough cut your tapered line. Again, staying away from touching the line. Use a plane to bring it down to the line. You can tell when your hand plane is sharp, it makes a certain singing sound when you're using it. I'm pointing to my reference marks. Keep trimming until they line up. The feathered tip is removed. It's keeping me from sliding the stick all the way to where it reaches home. Here's the finished glue up. Next thing is to fare the hull. The wood that you're looking at is sassafras, black walnut, and cherry. Thanks for watching my friends, bye bye.